Whether you currently own a heat pump or you're thinking about one, you'll definitely want to pay attention to this video because I'm going to give you one of the messages that most sales reps will never talk about. Right now across the US we are getting crazy low temperatures. The number one myth that many people hear about is that heat pumps cannot work in cold climates. Now that is absolutely false. Almost every heat pump on the market can operate as low as zero degrees. Many of them now include a function called hyperheat that can allow a heat pump to effectively operate down to negative 20 degrees and some can even go lower. But that's where the lies begin. Now just because something can function at a lower temperature doesn't mean it's better or efficient. When your temperatures go below about 20 degrees, heat pumps no longer operate effectively. They can still generate heat, but they become much less efficient. Now efficiency just means that your electric bill is going to get higher during those cold times. And generally that's not a big deal if you're just going to have a month or two each year. But that isn't the end of the story. What these guys don't tell you is during cold temperatures, your heat pump will likely not be able to comfortably heat your space. Now if you've got a really new house with lots of insulation, this may be less of an issue. If you've got a house that's 15 years or older, you are definitely going to experience problems, especially if you're solely depending on that heat pump. So how on earth can this be true? Because everyone is talking about heat pumps. I have made many videos about them. I've shown you my Mr. Cool installations where I put one at my house here, down at a friend's house, and they work tremendously well. They are awesome air conditioners and they can also be effective heaters. Why on earth did I have a Mitsubishi system put in my house here where there's snow in the ground and it is freezing here all throughout the winter? Well, the answer is simple. You've got to learn about something called supplemental heating. When the temperature goes below about 30 degrees, the efficiency drops way down. That means your electric bill is going to begin to skyrocket. So what they will do is install something called supplemental heating. These can be something like electric heat strips or even a system called hydro heat that uses hot water combined with your heat pump to deliver the best efficiency you can get in colder climates. Why would you go ahead and put a heat pump in and another heating system? Well that's usually not the case. Supplemental heating options are going to vary per manufacturer. Now you can certainly use your heat pump during the winter and try it out for your first or second year, but don't be shocked on really cold days if you're just not going to get enough heat out of it to keep your space comfortable. Now if you've got a hang in the wall unit like many people do with mini splits, you're likely going to need to get either a space heater or something like a pellet stove just to offset the temperature on those really cold days. But then there's another type of heat pump that are becoming much more popular. That's the ducted type. These use a central system along with your outside compressor and they deliver that hot air throughout your home. They still rely on the exact same heat pump setup so they're not any better in cold weather. They require a supplemental system but these ducted systems have that as an option. So if you're getting this variety in your home to ask what kind of supplemental heating options they give. Now this particular system here uses hydro heat. This actually allows my other system in my house which is a boiler to pump hot water through the air plenum and that delivers a boost during the heating times so that it can be more efficient and it ends up delivering enough hot air to comfortably heat the space. But other companies like Mr. Cool, Senville, even things like Mitsubishi has another option that's electric heat. Now normally electric heat, especially resistance heating, is a really bad idea. But these guys do it differently. All these companies offer the option of putting these electric resistance strips into the ducted system. Now these aren't going to work all the time. The system knows the temperature that it's delivering and how well it's performing. When it detects that it's not able to keep up with the demand, it activates these heat strips. These are similar to the elements inside your dryer and they create a lot of heat. So much heat in such a short amount of time that it allows the system to get that kind of turbo boost, it will heat your space and now the heat pump can just maintain the temperature that you want. And while that does use a lot of power for a brief amount of time, it is much less electricity than just simply running your heat pump endlessly trying to make up a temperature during those cold days. Now some of this is going to depend on where you live, how old your house is, and what your preferences are. Some people want to have a much higher temperature in their space, so if your system can't reach it, that's going to cause you troubles. But if you live in somewhere like North Carolina, where you're in more of the middle of the country, your heating demand will likely not be enough and a heat pump will probably work fine for you without any sort of supplemental heating. But if you're in an area like I am in New Hampshire, Vermont, or Maine, or any of the colder states, you are absolutely going to want to ensure that you've got some type of supplemental heating. So if you're considering any type of a heat pump for your home, if it's going to be a hang on the wall unit, you're going to need to realize that if you're in a real cold climate and an older house, you will likely need something else to heat that space on those really cold days. And the reason the reason these are failing is because people are not being told that the heat pump they're getting will function on those really cold days, but it's not able to keep up with the demand. Fortunately, most of those supplemental heating strips are actually pretty inexpensive 
and they've already got a spot that they can be easily installed. But if you don't mention them, most installers are never going to include them. And if you're in a cold climate, once you're running your system, you're probably not going to be as comfortable as you want. So the bottom line is heat pumps are awesome. They make amazing air conditioners and they can be very effective heaters. But in terms of ultra cold climates, if you're going to depend on a heat pump, you really need to make sure that it can meet the demands of your home. And I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.